Hey guys, this, these are the following changes that are coming to patch 2.06 and let me tell you, these are really, 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 really big changes. For Viper, when enemies push through your poison cloud or your wall or your Viper spit, they will instantly receive 50 DK damage. So if they push through the wall, you'll have to worry about 100 HP, not 150 HP. That's a pretty huge buff. To offset this buff, they have reduced the decay rate from 15 damage per second to 10 damage per second and they have reduced the health regeneration delay from 2.5 seconds to 1.5. So the buffs and the nerfs kind of offset each other and I think it's a very good change. Poison Cloud can now be immediately redeployed after picking them up. So there will be no cooldown for redeploying after picking it up. But the second line which even I'm not sure what they mean, they stated here is that but grants a temporary charge instead of a permanent charge. Does this mean Viper can deploy only a few number of times before the smoke ultimately just goes away? Or does this mean that you can only deploy it a certain number of times before a cooldown occurs? I'm not exactly sure but when the patch drops I will be making a video comparing the before and after of this patch. So make sure to subscribe. As a Viper if you die while your po poison cloud is on, the poison cloud will last up to the duration of your fuel or it will last an additional 2 seconds if you are out of fuel. This essentially pushes her more towards the controller because Omen and Brimstone smokes lasts the rest of the duration and Vipers doesn't but now it does. Unfortunately this does not apply to the wall. The wall will be up for an additional 2 seconds when you die and that's it. But they have also increased the full blind distance from the wall to better match the blind distance from the edge of smokes. I'm not exactly sure what they mean here but I, I feel like this is what they mean. When you're pushing through the smokes, there will be a small amount of time where you're blind from the smoke itself. You will be seeing only the smoke. So if you're pushing through a brimstone smoke, when you're in the edge of brimstone smoke, all you will see is brimstone smoke and nothing else. This was not the case with Viper. With Viper, the, it, the duration was very small and you could easily push through without any uh, delay. But now they have seem to have increased the blind distance. So when you're pushing through a Viper wall, it becomes a bit more difficult to pre-aim and get ready for the battle. The snake bites equip time has also been decreased from 1.1 second to 0.8 seconds. That's pretty huge. In custom games, they have also added more tools for Viper. As a Viper, in custom games with infinite abilities and cheats enabled, you can hold down and activate button on Poison Cloud and Toxic Screen to recall them. This means no, you no longer have to restart the round in order to get your wall back and you no longer have to go to the spot where the orb has landed to get it back. You can recall them at any time but only in custom games. Also, if you are having your poison cloud equipped, it will show the landing location where, of where the poison cloud will land on the minimap. So you no longer have to constantly aim, throw, check where it lands, aim, throw, check where it lands in order to find a lineup. You can simply aim and check on the minimap for where the lineup is. And you can discover lineups more easier and practice them more faster. This applies only for poison cloud. Those are really good viper changes. Let's go on to Euro's changes. Yoru's flash activation time has been decreased from 0.8 to 0.6 seconds. This means he can flash and those flashes will pop up a bit sooner. The flash duration as well has been increased from 1.1 second to 1.5 seconds. This will make Yoru quite viable. Gate crash was changed as well. Gate crash will no longer refresh on kills but it will refresh every 35 seconds and the duration of gate crash has been increased from 20 seconds to 30 seconds which is quite huge as well. The range at which the gate crash is visible is has been decreased from 7 meters to 4 meters. This means enemies cannot spot your gate crash uh, fragment that easily. Visuals have also been added for visibility range to the moving fragment. So I am assuming as a Yoru you can now see at what distance the enemies can see your fragment from the uh, visuals that they have added. The dimensional drift alt points have been decreased from 7 to 6 seconds and you can reactivate gate crash while in dimensional drift. This makes Yoru quite, quite nice. Killjoy has been slightly buffed. She can now pick up her deployed nano swarm grenades during the buy phase to get the charge back like Cypher. This wasn't the case before. Bucky has also been buffed and nerfed at the same time. First, the buff is that the left click and right click spread for the shotgun Bucky has been decreased from 3.4 to 2.6 for the primary fire and 3.4 to 2.0 for the right click. So right click is more accurate than the primary fire and both right click and left click are more accurate than this is a really good buff but you may be saying won't this become make it OP? Well yes but they have changed the damage as well as well as the pellet count. For right click the number of pellets has been reduced from 15 to 5 that's a huge drastic nerf for the right click but because the spread is more decreased 
the right click would still be viable in certain situations. The damage has also been nerfed. The previous stats and after stats have also been shown in the following figure. So you can see that for each pellet that damage is lowered and for right click the number of pellets that is maximum is 5 so that's a huge nerf for the right click and a pretty good nerf for the left click but because the spread is decreased Bucky might be a lot viable as a shotgun as a whole as well so we'll have to see how it works in the patch. Mode updates, escalation has also received a few nice changes. For Razor's showstopper weapon, you will also have two blast pack charges so you can just fly around the map while using the rocket launcher. So that's pretty nice, it's going to be nice. But this is a bad change. Snowball launcher now comes with skates and it's quite annoying to play against skates and uh, it's like quake and it's quite hard to deal with but it's a, it, it, people might like it. Snowball launcher will now come with skates. And another change that I'm not really a big fan of, the big knife weapon that's the last weapon that you usually get it will now come with uh, one jet dash charge so you can dash and knife ah. and it will refill on a kill comparative updates you can now view a person's carrier from the in-game leaderboard so if you are available and present in the in-game leaderboard if you are immortal or radiant people can see your career so you can now see what agents the radiants are playing and you can try and see what they are doing their score are they supportive are they aggressive and learn a lot more but if you are the person on the leaderboard and you don't want people to see your career you can do that as well and the big change that has been secretly shown the hrtf hrtf is a really good change in valorant that is necessary for for so long valorant has been playing with 2g audio hrtf essentially introduces 3d audio so now footsteps and other sounds should be more easily to pin more easy to pinpoint since they will be represented in a 3d surround sound space but currently hrtf only works with footsteps reloads and deathmatch response so ability usages like flashes smokes grenades and other uh, sub sounds will not be rendered in 3d only footsteps and reloads will be rendered in 3d which are honestly the most important part that they have to do it first so they did a good job and pretty sure they will add more sounds uh, in the future they've also fixed some bugs you can see here i'm not going to really go through them the one bug that they fixed which is important is that uh, the viper had a exploit or bug or whatever you want to call there will there is actually a time delay between inside and outside anim animations and they removed that exploit and there are some other changes that are also good that's it for this patch i will still be uploading a visual representation of patch 2.06 the before and after make sure to subscribe and leave a like and it's with me see ya